Hi, today I want to do a sort of a swatch demo uh, mini review video and sort of like a whole video of the Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. Um, I know that they came out with four shades uh, a while ago and I haven't got a chance to try their products but I know that they're pretty huge on Instagram and I've been I watched a couple of YouTubers uh, review their products so um, I think that they have really nice colors and the packaging is really beautiful uh, what really made me decide to give this brand a try is because they came out with um, four new shades I think four new shades yeah four new shades and one of them is this like the one I'm wearing right now on my lips which is called Harvest and it's supposed to be this kind of like a burnt orange type of color and then also their nude color called Libra that's like a bestseller like most popular shade from them that came back in stock I decided to pick those two shades up um, they do have they do charge like a they do charge a flat rate shipping so it doesn't matter like how much you purchase like how much you spend um, you still have to pay that flat rate shipping so I was so I thought that I'm just gonna you know get these two colors because I really really want to try these two colors um, and if I like them I'll probably grab other ones I'm trying really hard not to go overboard like go crazy with just like over purchasing over buying stuff because I feel like when it comes to liquid lipsticks um, or lip colors in general like I tend to just go kind of crazy and I tend to like grab every colors as possible like especially with the Colourpop line um, like I would just get every single shade so I'm trying not to do that these two liquid lipsticks comes in this like little black box and uh, it was delivered by the uh, post office so the shipping was fairly quick and it has a you know like a USPS like tracking number on it so you know when it's coming I already upload a like an Instagram post um, so I don't know if you saw that one but I post of the unboxing of the um, of this you know along with like the swatches on the back of my hand after they will completely dry out um, you know like because these do um, these actually keep, takes a, take a while to dry down to a completely matte finish so um, but the swatch I did um, on Instagram it was like under direct sunlight um, it's just like really beautiful because they do dry completely matte inside of the box is so beautiful it has like really pretty like drawings like illustrations and it has black moon and it has the website blackmooncosmetics.com and you can follow them on Instagram they have a Facebook page and as well as Twitter page and inside it comes with like a little um, black, black thank you card so that's a really nice touch as well as their promo card so I believe that they are wearing the new shade Harvest um, on this side of the promo card and uh, I'm not sure which particular color is this one it's like an it's I think it's one of the newer color as well it's a, this brownish color I didn't grab that one I was on the fence of whether or not to get Celine which is that really beautiful kind of a purplish dual chrome kind of a lip color um, but I do really like the way how they feel on my lips so I might just grab that one up and it has like it's wrapped you know it's kind of like covered with the black tissue paper and it has like pretty big like chunky glitter sequins all over it and then the actual products were wrapped in the white tissue paper so the actual packaging um, just the outside cardboard packaging of the liquid lipsticks are really just really beautiful too it has that same type of like black moon illustrations on the box and it says liquid to matte lipstick and you get the name of the shade on the cover box as well and it has the ingredient list um, and it says that this is cruelty free and vegan made in the USA and uh, there the company is from Burbank California 
So I thought it might be similar to the Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin and you can tell that it does look kind of similar but I think uh, once it's on the lips the um, Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin definitely pulls a little bit much lighter than Libra I think if anything Libra has more of a like a yeah it's like a deeper kind of sister to celebrity skin uh, the packaging uh, the packaging is somewhat similar except that the black moon cosmetics packaging is a little bit taller than the Jeffree Star one um, but it's also just in this kind of like a thick acrylic clear bottle and it has like um, yeah so the packaging is actually quite similar. Um, the Jeffree Star one has uh, 0.19 fluid ounce, and the, the the Black Moon liquid lipsticks has 0.2 fluid ounce. So it just just tiny bit, just a tiny bit more than Jeffree Star. But I still think that they're about the same. Um, price wise. Um, Oh my god, I totally forgot how much this cost. I will link the information down below and the price and everything down below. And I will actually and I will have my blog post on my blog artofsign.blogspot.com so you can see all the close-up swatches, ingredient list, where to buy them and the shipping costs and you know like how much it costs and all that stuff um, on my blog. So you can check that one out. It's kind of similar to Lolita One, the original formula. But it's a little bit peachier than Lolita one, the original formula, not the new Lolita one. The new Lolita one definitely leans very brownish, so that's what I'm, not what I'm comparing to. But um, yeah, I will actually have like some of the dupes from my collections to this particular shade on my blog as well, so you can see uh, the similar colors to the Libra shade. But the packaging, I think it's really beautiful. I think it looks uh, just a little bit different from like, let's say, uh, Jeffree Star, Dose of Colors, and Makeup Monsters. I still haven't tried Makeup Monsters and Dose of Colors, but I think the packaging is quite similar. Um, except that this has kind of like a black to clear gradient effect, which I think it's just makes it a little bit just different than and more unique than the other ones. And I like how the black moon, uh, the moon uh, shaped logo is in sort of like a holographic sh uh, color. And uh, it has their logo, I think the logo is on the other side. It looks like jellyfish or something. Sorry, I'm not sure what that is. But um, it has a shade name on the bottom as well. Since the bottom part is clear, you can see the shade, um, you know, if you're just like standing it up and you store it standing up you can see the shade and if you put it down like you know lay it down you can see the shade from the back because uh, the name is on the back so I think that's really nice touch to the packaging um, and then the DOFA applicator is very standard DOFA applicator it doesn't really have much give to it um, it's a quite hard actually so um, I find it a little bit difficult to apply because the fact that it's a little bit on the harder side, like burnt vanilla type of scent. If that's, but this is pretty faint. It's not like too obvious, so it's not like oh too overwhelming. And the once it's on the lips, you can't really smell anything, so that's good. I do like the texture. I think it's very, um, it's very soft and comfortable. Um, it feels, like I said, it feels very similar to the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks because it has that moussey texture and it's also kind of like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream um, since it also has that type of like uh, creamy moussey texture. It's not like super thick but it's still very pigmented. So I do like how pigmented it, this is and it goes on smoothly, uh, very easy. And it just, it doesn't get patchy or anything. At least the two colors that I have, they don't go on patchy at all. Um, and uh, I feel like they just make my lips look very, like, plushed and full. Um, of course, with any liquid lipsticks, I feel like I ha I can get away with, like, cheating uh, the lip shape. And make them a little bit larger than usual. So, um... This actually is really nice. I haven't done the wearing test with this. I haven't, like, I just swatched them. Um, I haven't really worn them out uh, for the whole day to test them out.
But like I said, when when I swatched them on the back of my hand, it did take like a couple minutes for them to dry completely matte, like dry completely matte. And I feel like when I touch them, um, they still transfer a bit. So this is not like one of those like a hundred percent transfer proof type of um type of like liquid lipsticks. You know, it's not like the color pop um ultra matte ones or the um I guess the Cat Von D or Stila, like those when they dry down completely matte, like you can do the kiss test or something and then they don't like come off just like totally transfer free. But I feel like because of the moussey texture, this dries down to completely matte, but it still transfers a bit. Um, so I don't know how uh, the longevity is going to be with these. So I just want to talk about the... Um, since this is a moussey texture type of lip color, um, it doesn't really settle into like... Well, I'm not like trying to say it doesn't settle into the lines, but um, it doesn't like separate in the, the gaps of the, you know, like the lip lines. It does, you know, since it is like a liquid to matte lipsticks, um, lipstick, it does accentuate your lip texture. Just keep that in mind. That's like most of the liquid lipsticks, they would do that to your lips. Um, but it does, you know, the texture does provide, you know, the lips a bit more of a sort of almost like slightly blurred effect. Um, so it, it doesn't look like it's super dry or anything. Um, it doesn't feel super dry. And I think I've been talking for a while now and uh, maybe the liquid lipsticks has been dried down uh, a little bit more. So now I start to feel just a little bit of dryness on the the inner rim of my lips. I have that little bit of a dryness uh, starting to like yeah, I just start to feel that, that way. I think maybe because I've been talking um, for a while. So I don't know if that's going to be more of a, an issue throughout the day um, as I'm wearing this more and more, uh, longer, you know, longer and longer. I don't know if that's going to be a problem if it's really going to start to dry, um, feel dry on my lips. I still feel pretty comfortable at this point um, because, like I said, I've had worse um, liquid lipsticks, you know, like I've had worse ones. So uh, I really do like the color. I think it's really gorgeous. And as you can see, I have a lot of like orange stuff like in the background. So it's like, so you would think that this type of, the, this color is like competing with my background, but it actually like stands out on its own. So I'm really glad that it did that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.